Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this problem solution series in class 11 physics. I am following the NCERT physics book part 1. So in this video, we will solve the problem number 2.4 from the chapter number 2. In this problem, we have to explain the statement. The given statement is to call a dimensional quantity large or small is meaningless it is meaningless without specifying a standard for a comparison let me explain with some example suppose whenever we say one kilogram one kilogram this quantity it looks like a small quantity but in comparison to suppose 10 gram this magnitude looks bigger value but the unit is smaller that means a quantity may be large or small when we compare with some standard quantity so we have to first see so the given statement is true we can say that the given statement is true for example if we consider suppose mass of a lpg cylinder is suppose 20 kg suppose it is not completely filled it is if it is fully filled it will be approximately 30 kg okay so suppose it is now its weight is 20 kg this mass is very small in comparison to the mass of earth if we compare the mass of earth with the mass of a cylinder then we can say that the earth's mass is far greater it is very very greater than the lpg mass lpg cylinder mass okay so we have to compare in comparison to what our quantity is smaller or bigger so this mass is very large in comparison to the mass of an electron again this 20 kg of weight is far greater than very very greater than very very larger than this mass of an electron but it is very very smaller than the mass of the earth okay when you compare with a large quantity it feels like it is a very small quantity and if we compare it with a very smaller quantity it will look like a larger quantity so this given statement is true as per the question okay now depending on the this statement that means in the view of this statement we have to reframe the following statements wherever necessary so here in the first part we are given that atoms are very small objects in comparison to what here our standard object is not given so if we want to reframe or rewrite this sentence with some comparison then only we can say that the atom are very small object if we say atom is very small object in comparison to a suppose basketball but an atom can be very large or larger than a electron so in that way we have to say we or we have to express or we have to mention some comparison with some standard quantity the size of an atom is very small in comparison to the size of a football now the comparison is done suppose a football is a suppose standard size a, a standard football dimension or diameter is fixed okay so in this comparison a atom has a very small size so in that way we can write that the size of an atom is very small in comparison to the size of a football now let us see our second statement in the second statement we are given that a jet plane moves with great speed okay that means we are we have to give some reference or reference standard from which that means in comparison to which the z plane moves at a greater speed okay so we can rewrite this as a z plane moves faster than a bullet train a bullet train suppose the speed is suppose 400 km per hour but z plane moves at the speed of almost suppose 1.2 mach z planes almost moves at a velocity greater than suppose 1000 okay 1000 km per hour so in this way if we compare the jet plane velocity or jet plane speed with a bullet train then it is faster in comparison to the bullet train okay so now let us go to our third statement in the third statement we have here this is the mass of the jupiter is very large in comparison to what if we compare the mass of jupiter with the mass of the sun then it will be smaller okay now in the question it is given that it is very large so we have to consider some smaller quantity so we can rewrite this as the mass of the jupiter is very large in comparison to 
टू द मास ऑफ द यूरेनस यूरेनस इज अनदर प्लेनेट इट्स मास इज स्मॉलर देन द मास ऑफ द जुपिटर नाउ लेट अस गो टू आवर फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट इन द फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट वी हैव द एयर इनसाइड द इनसाइड दिस रूम कंटेंस अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सपोज द होल अमाउंट ऑफ एयर द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ एयर एंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स Inside a room is inside this given room is very large. So what we have to do? We have to give some reference. The air inside the room contains large number of molecules. Then the one mole of air in one mole we have evaporated number of molecules. So what have in one mole comparison the air inside this room is very large. Or we can say that this is larger. Or we can add a are here larger number of molecules than the one mole of air now let us go to our fifth part of the problem in the fifth part we are given that a proton is much more massive than the electron here the comparison is done with comparison to the electron we have compared the mass of proton in comparison to the electron and we have already made this statement clear that it is more massive than the electron so this statement is correct so there is no need of adding some extra comparison okay so this is already a correct statement now let us see the sixth part of this question in the sixth part we are given that the speed of sound is much smaller than the speed of light okay this is the true statement or it is already a correct statement and we are given with the comparison that is the speed of sound is smaller than the speed of light okay we have compared the speed of two quantity that is one is the sound and another is the light so in this way we can give some statements in comparison to some standard quantity okay so this is the solution of this problem 2.4 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you